Hey YouTube, today we're going to make all the 9mm people happy that I seem to upset every time that I talk about 9mm. We're going to be looking at a Cobra M11 or a Mac 11 and this is a little bit of an out of the ordinary weapon that I normally show but it shows you I am diversified and I do like a variety of different firearms so before we go any further into this, I'm going to show you that this Cobra M11 is not loaded, it has nothing in it, and everybody is safe to watch it. So what we have here is we have a Mac 11 chambered in 9mm, and this particular one was manufactured in 1989. And the way you tell that, from what I understand, and I'm not an expert on these things, is the first number of the serial number shows the year of manufacture and if you look right here it says cobra m11 9 millimeter so these things came out in like the 70s and they were a submachine gun <clears throat> and they became very popular over the years a lot of people get them mistaken with the uzis i also have a video on here of an Uzi 9mm and folks these things are pretty much worthless I mean they're they're very impractical especially this one this is a semi-automatic version so basically essentially you have a real heavy 9mm pistol and what makes these things kind of iconic is like all the gangster movies from the 80s and the 90s that people would carry them around with these long magazines on them and they're just scary looking when the assault weapons ban came out, these these were one of the um, weapons that were specifically named in the assault weapons ban as a banned assault weapon. And they actually named the Mac 11, they named the Uzi, and they named the Tech 9 because it actually takes these um, very long, extended 30 round magazines on here. And you can see these magazines are actually branded Cobra. So you're, you've got 30 rounds of 9mm and a very blocky, very heavy, very hard to handle pistol. So this one here has a, the original sling on it and it's actually branded with the Cobra brand on it. And it takes these long detachable magazines. The way this thing operates, it has a charging handle here on top. It's very awkward and you just slide this thing back you charge it and on the front here it has a um, safety mechanism here you put it on safe you put it on fire and you take it and here's the sight picture on it these are horrible sights so it has a little peephole in it it's actually part of the frame of the gun and then you pick up this front sight right here on the front so if you <clears throat> want to be a marksman and um be Mr. Accurate Shooter at the range, this is not the weapon for you. It's probably not a good carry weapon. It's probably not good for much of anything except for showing off to your buddies and showing them that you have a Mac 11. But they are cool, and the majority of them come with these fake suppressors on them. It's actually like a barrel shroud is all it really is, or a barrel extension. It just threads on the end of the threaded barrel right here. It makes it a lot heavier. Pretty much eliminates the um, recoil altogether. And if you look at it with it on there, it gives you something to hold on to if you want to be a gangster and start shooting it. And I think it's in the bylaws if you have a Mac 11 that you have to take the gun at some point when you're at the range shooting it. And I think you have to hold it sideways and shoot it a few times sideways like this. I think that's in the bylaws because that's what they do in all the movies. But yeah, these things are really neat. They came out in the 70s and in the 80s, they started producing these in semi-automatic. I have a friend that actually has one of these. It's a um, transferable machine gun that fires from the open bolt position and it's transferable and he um, has it. Maybe I'll do a video on it one day. I cannot borrow that gun without him being there because it is an um, NFA item, but we'll see what we can do one day. But these things are perfectly legal. They were not um, legal during the assault weapons ban. So this is a quote unquote pre-ban gun. And for what that means, who knows? But people like to say they have a pre-ban weapon. 
what I see it is is a very old, very heavy, very awkward 9mm, but it is cool to take it out, show it to your buddies. It gets a lot of attention when you when you take one of these to the range. Everybody wants to see it because you know you don't see them on every street corner. The um, the prices vary all over the place on these things. People ask a lot of money, and I don't really see them getting what they're going to ask for them. They're not too terribly expensive, but you can pay you know quite a bit for one of these if you're if you're not careful. But I want to show you all this little nine millimeter Mac 11. Maybe we'll do some other videos on it and compare it to some stuff. Maybe we'll compare it to an Uzi or something like that. But very similar gun to an Uzi. A lot of people get them mistaken. It's just a very blocky, heavy nine millimeter pistol that um, you can have a lot of fun with at the range. They're not super accurate. But uh, they'll, they'll hit a target if you aim towards it. If you sit there and you find out where your point of impact is, you can pretty much hit anything with this. But pretty neat little weapon here. The way, the way it operates, just like pretty much anything, you charge it. And it's got it's to pull the trigger to it. I'll let me show you the reset to it. Got a real tactical reset to it. These things really slap your finger when you're shooting at them. Most of them have a little rubber hose piece on here to kind of protect your finger a little bit when you're shooting them but the magazine release on, is on the bottom here you just pull down on this pull the magazine out of it but it's just it's a real simple simple design it's been around a very long time i think they started making a copy of these things now by masterpiece arms I'm not really certain what the difference is i've never handled one of these like I said, folks, this is a, um, an old one. This was made in the 80s. This was made in 1989. So I like to have original stuff when I have it. And I don't want to go buy one of the newer ones or anything. But this is pretty reliable. Pretty reliable little, little weapon here. It just doesn't have a lot of practicality. But it is very cool. Who wouldn't want to own a Mac 11? I mean, just the name alone sounds scary. <laughs> but anyway this should make a lot of people happy a lot of people think i don't like nine millimeter stuff this is the ultimate nine millimeter here ultimate nine millimeter pistol and all the nine millimeters people talk about capacity well here you got 30 30 rounds of nine millimeter let's see them carry this big old thing around but if you have any questions on this folks i'm not a super big expert on cobra mac 11s but i'll try and answer any question that you have and anyway folks thank you very much for watching my video today and you folks have a great day